Hi there. Welcome to What the Flick. How are you, Christy, Alonzo, and Matt? Um, we talk about trailers sometimes. This is one of those times. Um, it is a time where all the movies that are playing at Cannes and their trailers come out to whet your appetite for how awesome they're going to be or controversial or whatever, starting with the latest from Spike Lee, Black Klansman. The KKK is planning an attack. How do you propose to make this investigation? We'll establish contact over the phone. We'll need a white officer to play me when they meet face to face. And for the white race, Ron. Oh, hell yeah. So there becomes a combined Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? With the right white man, we can do anything. When's the last time they let a rookie lead an investigation? Oh, that's right. Never. <laughs> okay. Become his friend. Let's get invited back. So what kind of stuff you guys do? Cross burdens, marches. This is fixing to be a big year for us. You ask too many questions. You undercover or something? We must unite and organize to fight racism. Are you down for the liberation of black people? Power to the people. All power to all the people. All power to all the people. It's right, sister. For you, it's a crusade. For me, it's a job. You're Jewish. That hatred, doesn't that piss you off? You're taking this Jew lie detector test. Why are you acting like you ain't got skin in the game? This looks pretty great. The Ku Klux Klan is like the pro wrestling of American racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the exaggerated cartoony version, so it's always kind of fun to- But it's real. It's totally real, that's true, unlike pro wrestling. We wish it was merely exaggerated cartoony version. Right, well, but like, I'm saying it's it, it's the it's the visible like yeah. ludicrous oh, right. version okay. of, of the sort of polite version that exists you know everywhere. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, and so it's just it's kind of fun to see that as a this part movie of looks movie. terrific. It does. This movie looks it's terrific. A fun trailer. Like, it's it's kind of a gimme for Spike Lee to do. It, I mean, <laughs> what it weirdly reminds me of is the J T. Leroy story. The woman oh, who was yeah. writing uh, writing yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fiction and in the guise of an abused seventeen year old yeah. boy, yeah. and so she had somebody else pretend to be JT for public appearances, wow. but she would do all the phone work and do all the writing. Interesting. Yeah. So it looks very much in the vein of she's of not she's got to have it. Of do the right thing, you know. In, in terms of it's very much addressing a pressing issue sure. in our society. It's not trying to come up with the answers to it. It's just trying to have the conversation. It's trying to spark the conversation in a really provocative, really intelligent way. Um, sometimes when Spike Lee does this kind of serious racial satire, like Bamboozled, for example, it can be very heavy handed. I kind of like Bamboozled. Did you? Okay. I do. Yeah. I was a big fan but, of it. But I know I'm, a, I'm yeah. in the minority in that one. I would take issue with the word satire. Mm -hmm. I, the cop, Colorado cop, Ron right. Stallworth, did this. Right. Like right. This. But you can, but you can, you can, but you can yeah. tell the true story with a sort of satirical bent. With, a, with an arch kind of tone. Yes. To right. It. I'm just saying. This, like, is, this seems like it's playful in some ways. Yes. May, uh, the, we'll the, the trailer's the selling it that way, right. yes. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Adam Driver, again, working with like all the great directors in the world. <laughs> Somebody listed like <laughs> yes. all the people he's worked with the last couple of years. It's bananas. The Coens and Jim Jarmusch. And Scorsese. And Steven Soderbergh. And, yeah. He's, he our, he's our new John Turturro. Adam Driver, you keep choosing or beautifully. Or Keanu Reeves. Yes. Um, yeah, but I, well, but I would say that Adam <laughs> Driver is a much better. I'm not, just look. saying in terms of the people that he's He chooses with. well. He's, he's versatile. Um, also coming out um, is a movie about Freddie Mercury, which has been kicking around for a little while. It's called Bohemian Rhapsody. Take a look. So now what? Uh, this is when the operatic section comes in. Oh, the operatic section, yeah. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. For me, for me. It goes on forever, six bloody minutes. I pity your wife if you think six minutes is forever. I'm not sure about this hooked on classics version of all the Queen <laughs> hits. Um, so, mix, so I can't even imagine. Mm. I can't even imagine at this point Sasha Baron Cohen playing Freddie Mercury as he was supposed to originally, and now we have Rami Malek. I just can't even imagine like taking <sighs> Sasha Baron Cohen seriously in that role. Well, you know, I think Cohen would have done a great job. I think he, you know, if I remember correctly, he left that project because it, 
it was. He said the band was micromanaging. The band was micromanaging. Okay. And, you know, I think that Remy Malik will do well in this. Certainly, he's, you know, one of the things I had, I, I thought Cohen would have done great, except that I think Cohen's probably way too tall. Um, whereas, you know, I don't think Freddie Mercury was the tallest guy in that band. Um, I'm a little concerned with Remy Malik in here. Like, he doesn't exactly sound like. Freddie Mercury, who sounded like a little bit higher pitched in a lot of his at least later interviews and a more pronounced lisp. Mm -hmm. That being said, I am convinced that Remy Malik and Bruno Mars are actually the same person. <laughs> and so I'm fairly confident that since Remy Mars will be able to sing the way he needs to sing. My only yeah. concern is that I think they're, they're they, you know, granted, this is a teaser, we don't know anything yet, but they've already been saying, well, we're not gonna talk about AIDS, and this <laughs> already also seems like we're not gonna talk about Freddie Mercury being gay, then it's like, why are you making a Freddie Mercury movie? I was gonna say, how do you even like address this person's life and the impact he had without talking about yeah, all that? And, and so if, if that's the kind of micromanaging that Sasha Baron Cohen was talking about, then I'm gonna be really annoyed when this This would be out. as if you were gonna make a Jimi Hendrix movie and not secure the rights to any of his Music. For instance, which happened? Yes, actually. that was the movie That's I stopped what? watching. Oh, a friend of mine produced that movie. So, okay. I'm sorry. So I know. So we have uh, finally a movie that it's also about music. It is the latest insanity from Gaspar Noé. It's called Climax. Take a look. Movie looks insane, and I want to watch this it right be, now. This could be the American Psycho of disco movies. It looks yeah. so good. Some, it's like zombie step up. I'm so excited <laughs> about this. Yes, yeah. somebody spiked the sangria, and it gets all Gaspar Noé in here. Yes, are you uh, a fan had, of his in general? I, yeah, I haven't. I need to. He's one of those people I need to get get more caught up on. I saw Love, but mm -hmm. that's been about it. So I got I got to go back and see Enter the Void and and all the other ones. We'll do a Gaspar Noé film festival to get psyched up. Good time. Prepared emotionally. This yeah. looks Jesus, really fun. Really? They had me at really the. Yes, and uh, <laughs> yes, this played at Cannes, and we talked earlier about you know the insane reactions you get at Cannes, but this this played really really well, and it just looks crazy and fun. It kind of looks like Holy Motors to me too, just in that you never know what's gonna happen. And it's dark and weird. Am I reaching? I'm reaching. Might be, <laughs> but we'll see. This we'll we'll see the movie trailer, and we'll know. Though. This it is, is a, a great trailer. You know, we don't really review trailers as as such. We we more comment on what they talk about. But this is a great one because it gives you a vibe, and it's it shows you a little bit, it shows you just enough, like, oh my God, what the heck? <laughs> and I, yeah, so I'm sold on this one. A good yes. trailer can go a long way. It oh, moves really well.